Hello Botany 2020. My name is Lauren Whitehurst and I am a third year PhD student at the University of Florida in the Soltis lab. Today I would like to talk to you about the vascular flora of Florida, phylogenetic diversity, and using these in combination to better define conservation areas within our state. Why is this so important, you may ask? Well, Florida is very, very suspect to climate change impacts. And we are home to a little over 4,000 species of vascular plants and host 81 different types of natural communities defined by the Florida Natural Areas Inventory. That is quite a diverse a range of ecosystems. And many of these are characterized by uh, specific flora. So the mangrove swamps of the coast, pine rocklands are very important in that they house endemic species in South Central Florida. Phase phylogenetic diversity is a measurement that incorporates evolutionary relationships to better understand relationships in plant communities or any communities uh, by incorporating this evolutionary relationship instead of just having simply species number or diversity per area. In this paper from Allen 19, we have phylogenetic diversity by latitude here. And if you notice, there's a very high concentration in the Gulf of Mexico. However, this study used only 1,490 vascular plant species. So I was very intrigued by that and decided I wanted to generate an improved phylogeny in order to generate new statistics such as these for the state of Florida. I would like increased sampling as much as possible. And I'm first going through GenBank and searching for any available sequences. And if we cannot find a respectable amount, I would like to go out and collect and sequence myself to add to that as well. With that, we'd like to create a comprehensive phylogeny and then identify areas in Florida that have significantly high areas of phylogenetic diversity in hopes of comparing these areas with currently protected areas of Florida to assess the overlap and see where we may be lacking in covering evolutionarily diverse areas. So for methods, the first thing that I did was assemble a list of the vascular flora of Florida, excluding the 289 infraspecies recognized by Wonderland. So we just kept it at the species level in this case to maximize records. From there, uh, the list of species will go into a program called Gene Dumper, which will create um, we will create a taxonomy database that will be used to blast to GenBank and get whatever sequences re we request back. You put in a FASTA file with those specific probes and it will search for them. And that is the gene dump. So it's searching for all the genes. And finally, the last step of this program, gene dumper developed at UF um, is the gene clean, which does take quite a while. So this here is also from the Allen paper showing a chronogram and a phylogram. And the key here are there, there are some very specific calibration points that are used for these different groups of plants. With increased sampling, we should have uh, an increased ability to better see patterns. And this here is showing uh, species diversity as well and three different ecoregions that were used for this study. So I would like to make this phylogeny by assembling all the sequences, sequences using partition finder to account for different evolutionary rates, generate Raxamel trees with bootstrap values, and then in future work, we would like to use these phylogenies to calculate phylogenetic diversity over the entire state. So Consider this map of Florida. This has 8,045 pixels overlaid onto the state, 16 kilometers squared pixels. And within those defined boxes, you can look at what species are present within the phylogeny and calculate PD for each specific pixel 
and that gives you this larger broad scale pattern of PD throughout the state. So with this, I would like to attempt to develop conservation plans based on the significant patterns and overlapping those onto an area, um, the areas that are currently protected in Florida. So I'd like to thank you for your attention and thank you to all these wonderful organizers and sources and have a great day.